Welcome, everybody. I'm Jay Hart Ellison. We're starting into our parkour jumping challenge ESO housing contest here. This is going to be fun. So one of the things that people like to do in the Elder Scrolls Online is jump around and figure out places that they may not really supposed to be able to get to. So you can do that with ESO housing, too. So we have 12 houses today that we're going to go and complete some obstacle courses in, complete some parkour courses, maybe jump along the way. I'll probably fall to my death a lot. We'll keep a death counter as we go through these. So we're going to start with the Krills, Hall of Lunar Champion. Now we're going to do this a little bit differently. Instead of me just going and admiring the houses, like I do with a lot of my housing tours and contests, I'm, in, I'm encouraging audience participation. So if you're here on Twitch chat, or if you're in any of the guilds here, we're going to start with the Krills, Hall of Lunar Champion. Don't go oh, jumping ahead of me. I don't want you to practice. <laughs> so be an even footing. Um, so we're going to head into the Krills, Hall of Lunar Champion, and try to complete an obstacle course, a jumping challenge. We're going to... So we're on EU to start with, Hall of Lunar Champion. They say, this is their first attempt at ESO housing. Oh, great. So be gentle, be gentle. I think that's in our Hauser Clauses. So I'm going to go ahead and... Go, so, we could just admire the house here, but we're here for the thrills. We're here for the jumping. This is going to be great. <laughs> Longest stream ever. We'll have to keep moving. Um, yeah, one thing is, I did I did have a stipulation which was that it should not take more than five minutes to complete these. So, if I fail too many times in a row, I will just have to move on to the next one since we have 12 of them to get to. Now, I see a couple of things up here that look like jumping... Things. Where do we start? Where do we start? Over this way? Looks like we start... This looks like the start. Because that would be the first jump, or is this... Uh-oh. Okay, okay, Here, here's our, here's our back story. So, their jumpy bits are outside, and <laughs> it said many ideas were shamelessly stolen from my streams. Yeah, I do a lot of housing tours, so maybe some good ideas were incorporated here. So, I'm trying to reach the Hakushi party platform above, where you'll find food, drink, music, and a clockwork ori I won from you. Oh, fun. Yeah, I do a lot of giveaways, too. So, trying to get to the Hakushi platform. So, there should be some festive lights somewhere with some food up above. Maybe not visible from here. Now, at the Kunzari sarcophagus, there are two paths. There are two paths. There's a vet He-Man jumper on the left and a simpler curvy walk to the right. Okay, so the sarcophagus is this way? It's got to be this way. And if you struggle, there's a sissy path <laughs> up the column ruins on the far right. So I, if, if I fail, we might, have to, we might have to start here. Okay, if anybody's on PCEU and wants to come to Decrill's Hall of the Lunar Champion, we'll be starting here. I'm trying to figure out quite where the path goes, because I can see how to get to there, and I don't really know where to go from there. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so this has a hard mode and an easy mode. Okay, so we're going to start here. Back at the entrance. Wait, back at the entrance. Back at the entrance. Wait, he said something about the Kunzari. I don't see the Kunzari, though. Where is the Kunzari? It's a big sarcophagus, big box, big kind of marble box. Okay, so we're starting back at the entrance. Okay, okay. So, oh wait, I see a, I see the sissy ramp. <laughs> I I think this might be I think this might be the no no. Well, this is one way to start. So here's a curvy path. Here's a curvy path. Is this where am I starting? We'll start. Here, maybe? This is the curvy path. This is supposed to be the simpler one. Or do you have or do you have your left and rights backwards? Because this is definitely on the left. Or do you mean as you're looking from the entry entryway? I don't know. Oh no, I'm all turned around already. This is why we need cardinal directions. Or I see the okay, I see the super sissy path. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That is the start, the sissy ramp on the far right of the map. But what is right? What is right? Do you mean the west? Is this the sissy ramp? 
Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna start here. We're gonna get some people in and we're gonna try to do this together. Okay, so here's the west. Is this an easy one? Is this a super easy one? Or I'd call this a north. This is north. I don't know if it's right if once you enter or exit the home. Oh no! Okay, we're starting. We're starting. <laughs> this is a path. This is a curvy path. And then we have a vet he-man path, which is on the other side. Yeah, right is usually the way you were facing five. Well, it says in my instructions right and left too. As you face the water, sissy. Okay, as I face the water, the sissy ramp is the column ruins on the far right of the map. Column ruins. Okay, that way. That's that's. The, if we give up, we'll go that way. The proper jump challenge is on the left, up next to the fire lion brazier, where you are. So the sarcophagus is above me. Okay, Fire Lion Brazier, I see that. And we're gonna start here. Okay, okay, so... I'm gonna go the curvy path, because that's the only one that seems super obvious to me. So, we're gonna start with that. So... Let's say three. Starting in three. In three, <laughs> two, one, and... Go! Well, I'm gonna see which way they go. Curvy path is wise. Curvy... Well... Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try to do this. Ooh, I hope I don't jump too high and hit my head. Oof. Oh no! That was quick. <laughs> oh no, I'm awful. I'm awful. Okay, so this is gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a challenge. There we go. Here we go. Oh no, they're making their way. Oh no! I must panic. I must panic and go fast. Oh no! <laughs> I was trying to just slide my foot around. Oh no, one thing that might be helpful is to block, you go a little bit slower. Or you can put it into a walking mode instead of a running mode. Panicking is also not my friend here. Running, running, oof, careful, careful. So close. And sprinting, sprint, barely, sprint. Oh, I kind of caught myself on the rock. Oh, I nearly tripped. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're allowed to win. You are allowed to win. Oh, no, they got so far ahead of me. Oh, at least a little fox fell again. Perfect, perfect. Okay, starting over. Well, give this a couple good goes. Oh, gosh, I probably ought to just put this in walking mode. Oh, I don't think I have it keybound. I do have it keybound. So this is what you can do to maybe have a bit more control is you can put it in RP walk mode. It looks very ch well. It's supposed to be a bit, right? Oh, okay. Oh no! In RP walk mode, I don't get any distance unless if I'm sprinting. Maybe I don't like RP walk mode. No. Okay, so challenging. So here's the question: How do you make a jumping challenge like this? How do you make it so that it's going to be challenging for guests, right? So I think it's about putting the way you place stuff. Oh, it seems like blocking and walking is helpful. Maybe... Maybe... Let's go easy mode here. Okay, that helps. And making it so that it's doable with some wiggle room. You don't want to make it pixel perfect, because nobody's going to be able to do pixel perfect jumping things. Ooh, sprinting. <laughs> you're close. You're doing good, you're doing good. And if you're on PC EU and you want to come try this, it's in Decryl's Hall of North Champion. If you're on Twitch chat right now. You're all, oh, oh, barely, barely. Now, can I even make it there? Can I land on the branches? The rocks are... These are... This was like a terrible choice with the rocks because they're super uneven. So you can't quite tell when you're good to go. Because you kind of slip off of them. Oh, you're so mean. You're so mean. Oh, barely, barely. Oh, okay, so here's our plan. Our plan is to get to this platform. I couldn't even really see this from before. So how do... I'll try to get some screenshots along the way, too. How do we get there from here? Oh, here's a Kunza re-rest. It looks like if we jump down there... 
Do I jump down there or do I keep going somehow? I'm gonna jump down there. We. Okay, now we have two paths. We have the hardcore vet mode, which is ends up going over the water, and if you fall into the water, you're going to die. Or you can take this simple walking path. Simple walking path, you can just give up and just walk all the way to the feast. Now I have to give it at least one go on the hardcore path, right? Oh no, oh no. I'm so, ooh, I'm so doomed. I'm so doomed. Certain death. It's, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh man. So this one's nice because it's long ways, right? So you have some wiggle room to actually land on it. This one's the other way. It's this way. So I have to land on it very precisely. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where to jump from? Where to jump from? Oh, oh, scary. And in this one, I have no distance. Oh no, they fell. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, they just disappeared. Okay, I, I have no distance to really run or sprint or gain speed on this one, so I'm just going to have to try to... Try to... Try. Oh, gosh. It's so imprecise. It's difficult. It's a challenge. Maybe take us at an angle here. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's a little smooth. Oh, oh no, smooth. This is this is hard. Blind Star Gazer says that you wouldn't splat. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back up without roll do dodging. Back off. And oh, oh, two more jumps. I think two more jumps will do it. Two more jumps. Maybe this is where Decrow could be really mean and has some animations that make the platform fall out from under. Yeah. One last one. Last one. Last one. Can I do it? Can I get to the feast? I'm so hungry. Am I going to actually fall off the ledge here if I try? I made it! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I hope I don't fall through a hole in the carpet. Perfect! Celebration! Was I the first one? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Yay! Thank you, Dekrill. So, fun jumping challenge to start with. And look, oh, there's even sweet rolls in the coffer. You knew you knew I would open that coffer, didn't ya? I did the hard path. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> party time. Part oh, I really like your party. Wow, is that supposed to be like a big meat kebab? <laughs> it kind of looks like one, doesn't it? Okay, so we have drinks. We have food. We have tea, cookies, all sorts of good stuff. Now we can come celebrate with the other winners up here. Even if they took the easy path. They yeah, had the uneven rocks were, were a good add to that. Uh, it was really throwing me off. Okay, so we figured it out. Thank you, thank you. So we're going to move on to the next house. Thank you, Dekrill. That was, that was satisfying. I thought you did a really good job of placing them in a way that was difficult, yet doable. And that, I think that's good for a jumping challenge. We're going to head off to Dubat's Enchanted Snow Globe Home. If you're on PCEU right now, during the stream, um... Head over to Two Bats Enchanted Snow Globe Home. Hopefully permissions are open. And we will... Oh, I didn't check out the fish tank. Oh, I'm mostly in it for the jumping challenge right now. I do a lot of tours. I might have to come back and check out the fish tank. Ah, I know. I know. I do I do lots of um, housing tours. I do regular housing hikes each Friday for both PCEU and PCNA. You can actually enter your homes for the housing hikes. No. That's a very satisfying end, too. No, it's like a goal... At the end there, a reward for actually making it. So, good good job with that. <laughs> the decor is quite on point. Okay, so we're at Dubat's Enchanted Snow Globe Home up next. So, let's try to see what this is going to be like. Thank you again to Krill. There are some visual effects, which will probably give us some instructions as to how to do this. Okay, so, follow the yellow arrows to the starting point. <laughs> Try does unshrunk bobble. Oh, I see, because we're, we're, like, at the New Life Festival tent with uh, Breda, and this would this would be, like, a little thing inside of the Enchanted Snow Globe home. Okay, following the yellow arrows. Following the arrow, yellow arrows, this is using visual effects from Essential Housing Tools to give us some instruction. It looks like we start here. Okay, we start here. And... 
<laughs> then we'll start here. So if anybody wants to come in on PCEU to do bats and Chetted Snow Globe Home, I'm excited, you little jape. Okay, here we go, Joppe. Look at the stall, look at the stall. Okay, we're starting with... Oh, drink some ale before <laughs> before y'all start. Um, I see. So we're going to go through this little tipsy then. We're going to go through this. I don't think I have a drunk personality on PCEU, unfortunately. Or I could do that. Okay. They're still trying to complete the other one. Well, maybe maybe give it a go another day. Go, come over here. Come over here. I don't want to spend a lot of time waiting for people. So get over here and we'll make us a run. I'm going to guess that we'll start here and then we'll maybe head up the snow piles and jump from there. Oh, lagging a little bit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, P continuing on PCEU with a jumping challenge. Excited to see what this course is going to be like. What did Dubat say about this place? Dubat said... Just follow the arrows and signs. Okay, we'll follow the arrows. I see those with the visual effects. At some point, I'm going to have to... I say, well, I'll probably want to do is keep read, like running, but I'll probably have to stop and read those instructions there. Co-watcher says, I'm starting to think mine is going to be not so much fun. <laughs> it's been called monstrously devious. Well, that's okay. It's okay. We'll have some difficult ones, too. I think some people will appreciate some difficult ones to try out for, their, for themselves, right? It's a challenge, a real challenge. I told people to be a little easy for these. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... I can jump. I like jumping around, especially like in Mournhold. You can get on top of the the merchant stalls there, the guild treasure stalls. So most of them you can get on top of jumping from post to post. Good chunk of them, anyway. Okay. Oh, uh, it's only Little Fox that's here. Only Little Fox. We're down. We're down. Here, let me make sure. We're all over this way. We're over this way. Or at least one other person here. Well... It's okay. I wasn't expecting a lot of people on PCEU. I'll, I'll pull some guildies in for PCNA. What's the name on this one? This is Dubat's Enchanted Snow Globe Home. If you're using, if you're using Essential Housing Hub. <laughs> Free magic carpet. Might need that. Okay, we're getting started here in a second with the next one. Banshee Main with a resub. Thank you so much. Big hype, big hype. Thank you so much. Did I die yet? I didn't actually die into Girl's Place. That surprised me, especially since it was right over the Slaughterfish. Okay, well, it'll be me and Little Fox. It's me versus Little Fox. Okay, starting in... A lot more people on, uh, on PCNA. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Okay, running, running. Oops, looks like you're a little dry. Oh, what is this? This is visual... Oh my gosh. I didn't know you could do this. With, so we took a drink before, and I was thinking of putting the drunk personality on. So what Dubat is doing is using essential housing tools, visual effects to obscure the vision on this. I didn't even know that was really possible. Ooh, wait, here's a question. Do I jump that way or do I have to go up this way? It looks like I'm, I'm supposed to go up this way. I think if you do a shortcut, you, you're cheating, right? Okay, jumping up, jumping up. Oh no, oh no, it's so, oh, ooh. <laughs> it's a little slippery, it's a little slippery. Well. It's a little, it's a little slippery. Okay. Oh, can't. I can barely see. It looks like I jumped down there. Jump down there. Jump down there. Okay. There's a slaughterfish. Coming up. Staying warm. Staying warm. Can't stay warm too long. Have to go out in the cold. Keep the jumping challenge going. Wait. Is this even very scalable? How do I get up there? Oh. Challenge. Hey, you can actually like jump up the. Ice here. That's cool. That's cool. A good way of incorporating the natural kind of jumpiness of the home here. Cool, cool, cool. Jubat says, yep, you were inspired by a snow bear plunge. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Sobered up. Oh, I sobered up. Perfect. Looks like I can continue along. And where are we going? I see. Am I supposed to go down there? Looks like I'm supposed to go down there. Or do I have to go up to the top first? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I go down here. Okay, going down here. Oh, oh, try and try and maybe hold the lock. Oh, <laughs> I need a little bit more distance, so. This is the hardest bit. Oh no, it's challenging. 
like a Mario platform. That's exactly the point of it. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, wait, how do I, where do I hop on? Here? 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 Just like the side of it somehow? Oh no, I don't see how to get up from here. Oh, this looks really high right there. Uh-oh, I don't know where to go. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. Oh no! Good luck. Oh, I didn't even see that. Good luck. I need it, apparently. Little Fox, are you coming? It's doable. My short Imperial managed it. Well, maybe that's an advantage. Oh, Blind Stargazer are showing me up. Oh no, I can't. I can't allow you to win. Okay, where do I go from here? That's... Well, I don't understand. Do I just hug the wall until I get up there? Oh, no. It's not... Not... Quite... Oh no! I think I need to be risky and actually go out a little bit more. Oh no, it's challenging, it's challenging. So incorporating some of the natural terrain here. I think that's a good, good way, oh gosh. So I have to get like way over there where it's a little bit lower, I think. I think, I think. Maybe if I sprint off to it. Oh no! Were you able to get up? If you get up there, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Oh no! Oh no, they're showing me up. They're showing me up. Not allowed. Oh no, they're laughing at me. I think they got up. How? Oh no, they did it. I didn't see how. I wanted to see how they did it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe if I just keep hugging the wall. Keep hugging the wall. Oh no. Oh, oh. I just kind of du double jumped there. Nearly really got it. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, we're from here. Up this way? Oh. <laughs> no showing up. J-Hard is a rule. Yes. Uh, no, it's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Up to the bonfire. Man, this is like a long challenge. It's going pretty fast, though. So this is fun. This is fun. Okay, following the arrows. Follow the arrows. Follow... The arrows were a good idea. I would probably be totally lost otherwise. Oh, no. I'm cheating. I'm jumping. Wait. Why? Do I have to get to that thing, or do I just jump down there? Like, is that a requirement to get over there? Because that looks like maybe I'm supposed to land on that thing. I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to assume I can keep going. Maybe that just softens it so that you don't die on the fall. I'm going to cheat and keep going. <laughs> the, the platform was what to aim for. Oh, okay. <laughs> looks like there's some ambition, ambition along the way. I need, I need some ambition here. We'll keep going. And... Oh, I got distracted. Oh no, I got dis I did get distracted. Oh no. Oh, they're like little trips here. The champion, the champion. Nearly there. Can I be the champion? It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one to land on that platform. Okay. Might have fallen to my death, but I, I have sturdy legs. I oh, wow. Got some speed there. I like how it's like celebration along the way with the Rathona. Ooh, ooh, tricky jump, tricky jump, tricky jump. Ooh, this looks... I don't know how to do this one. Oh, I can't really get speed on that because I get stuck on it. Oh, no! <laughs> Maybe just get really close to it. Get really close. Oh, gosh. Slippery rocks. Slippery. Here we go, here we go. How do you get up there? You just have to, like, hug the wall. Ooh! Tricky, tricky. There's a sil sliver of a ledge at the left hand of the wall. Oh, I'm gonna fall, like, right here, aren't I? I am. The end! Oh my goodness! We made it! Celebration! Celebration! Yes! Good job, good job. I like how this one has save points. Yeah, I like how it's kind of like in in little patches. So it's not like you have to start from the beginning if you mess up in one point. It's just like, well, here's another group of jumping challenges. And if you make it through that, then you can kind of progress to the next group. So I thought that was actually really considerate. So thank you for doing that, Dubat, instead of making me fall to my death every time and start over. <laughs> but hard mode, you have to start over every time. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that will do it for PCEU. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to PCNA. 
This was really fun. Thank you, Dubat. I keep getting screenshots along the way. Don't make any changes to your build quite yet because I didn't really get screenshots along the way. Okay, I'll come back and do that. Okay, I'm gonna head over to PCNA. We have 10 more entries on PCNA and we'll have some people running them with us along the way. It's gonna be great. Here we go. I didn't miss anybody else on PCEU, did I? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna head over to Lil Foxes up next on PCNA as we continue with our parkour jumping challenge. Nope. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Jibat. Okay, thanks, thanks. And Jubat says it will be there a while, so if you're on PCNA and want to go check out Jubat's Enchanted Snow Globe Home, have a fun jumping challenge there. Maybe land on that platform in the middle. <laughs> okay, heading over, heading over. So we're going to go to Lil Fox's Grand Topol. Maybe you can head over there. That's where we'll start on PCNA. Lil Fox says all your homes are open, so come on over. Yeah, it's possible that these are not going to have open visitor access. So I'm going to imagine most of them will. Possible some of them won't. But yeah, if you're, if you're here watching the live stream, we'll make a competition of it. So head over. Head over to Lil Fox's Grand Topol. You're invading. Okay. I'll get some guildies here. We're going to make this a right proper competition. Though some of these houses are going to be a little bit smaller. I think most of them are notable. I have one Cyrodiil jungle house, that's or Boulder Tree Refuge. That's only only two that might be a little iffy as far as the population. But here we go, here we go. Let me just make sure I didn't get any last second mails. Nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we are going to Lil Fox's Grand Temple Hideaway. Lil Fox has a mission for us. Our mission is to rescue a zombie. They said that a ship went, their ship went down in a typhoon, and we have to hop the debris and beware of deadly fish and sharks. Oh no, oh no, there are slaughterfish here. Oh no. Lil Fox says, story is a zombie ship crashed in a typhoon. You need to get out and save her. Oh no, save myself first. Okay, here we go. So if you're on PCNA, Head over to Lil Fox's Grand Temple Hideaway or port on to me from the guild roster. I'm going to tell guild members. Um, doing jumping challenge. Challenge now. Ten homes. Ten homes. Port on me to race to the finish. <laughs> we'll, we'll try that. We'll try that. Okay, we'll see if we can't get some people in here. Okay, so the debris is here. And we have to hop the debris to get to a zombie. Where is a zombie? Oh no, so I can see that... I can see that there was a shipwreck. So does that mean that if I land in the water at all that I have to start over? Or does it kind of start over this way? Do we start here? Oh, so the merchant the merchant's looking for a zombie. Oh, this gets more complicated. I see. Uzuma is looking at the birds around a zombie. Oh no, the bird the seagulls are attacking. Oh, I see, I see the birds. I see the birds over that way. So there's a zombie. We have to get to a zombie. And if we swim out here, here's a here's an issue. If we swim out too much, we'll start to get slaughter fished. Right? I think at some point. Okay, I could just swim out to a zombie. Is this cheating? Is this cheating? Where are the slaughterfish? I thought there would be slaughterfish. There are probably slaughterfish at some point. A zombie! I'm coming for ya. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. It's out pretty far. Oh no, the slaughterfish! Oh no! No, no, no. Leave me be. Leave me be. Okay, so I can't cheat. I can't cheat. We'll have to go for the path. <laughs> no cheating, no cheating. Okay, we're starting here. If you're on PCNA and you want to come and make this a race, come over to Lil Fox's Grand Topol or just port on me if you're in any of my guilds, just for the guild roster. Okay, we're starting here, starting here. It's cheap proof, it's cheap proof. Follow, follow the lights is a good tip here. Okay, so jumping challenge. We're about to start 
Starting in maybe 10. Give people a second to get here. Oops. The curl says he actually tried to cheat. <laughs> no, I wanted. I just wanted to make sure it was cheat proof and that there was actually like. So here's the thing: if I fall in the water, do I have to start over? That's a that's a question. That's a question. Okay, starting in ten. Starting in ten. Nine. Okay, here we go. Five, three, two, one. Just try to get back up on the thing. Okay, go. Okay, so you can't just swim. Ooh. Oh, I already fell in the water. <laughs> just have to try to get back up. Oh, no. So hop in the debris. Oh, no, I fell. Oh, no. Save me. No oh, gosh, I'm awful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta try not to cheat too much. <laughs> I could just swim. This is, like, really tricky hop trying to hop in the water. Okay, uh, uh, there we go, there we go. Okay, there's debris. Do I land on the flag? The flag doesn't seem like it would support me too well, right? Oh, okay, there's a sign there, a floating sign. It's super wobbly. Oh, no. Okay, super wobbly sign. Oh, no, I tried to land on the box. I couldn't. Oh, no. Okay, I'm back on the sign. <laughs> I should probably not have this Sigic passive on. Uh, that's fine. Ugh. I need some distance. Oh, there we go. Next sign, next sign. Can I land on that barrel? It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tricky to try to land on that barrel. Oh, I didn't quite do it either. Oh no, oh no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Salted Cheers, J Jart, Cow Jart, Moo. Thrasher with an eight month resub. Thank you so much. Oh no, oh no. The fish, the fish, the sharks, they're circling. <laughs> I could probably just long jump this. Oof. There we go. Okay. Why well, am I making it more difficult? <laughs> it's okay. So, oh no. Wow. Our team managed to get really far out there. Oh no. Going to get the zombies rewards before I do. Oh. Try 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 to navigate the debris here. Okay. Where where to from here? Can I just long jump onto that bed. Cedric bed. The Citadel bed was a really good choice here because it kind of looks like it's floating around. Can I hop onto this little board? And then, oh, the slaughterfish, they're nipping at me. Oh no, they are nipping at me. Oh no. This starts to become a problem. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the slaughterfish. <laughs> I think I might just be able to. Oh no, oh no. Apparently, apparently trying to long jump that was a problem. Ooh, I nearly died. Oh no, cool concept. Oh no, I need more hops. I need more hops. Oh no, I hopped too far. <laughs> oh no, well, that'll work. Mud crab company. Mud I'm just gonna stand here and giggle. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm, ooh. The boards are just, a, ooh. Mud crab, keep me safe. The boards are just enough in the water that you actually take damage from the slaughterfish, even just right there. So, I have to try to, Stay afloat. Stay afloat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got slaughterfished. And that will add to our death counter. We'll, it will add to the Twitch giveaways at the end. Oh, no. I have to start all over. Okay. I'm going to go a little faster. Okay. Who cares about cheating? <laughs> a zombie's in trouble. A zombie's in trouble. A, zombie, a zombie's okay with me cheating a little bit, right? Cheating a little bit. Cheating a little bit. <laughs> a zombie. Forgive me. <laughs> I just want to get back to where I was. <laughs> Think outside the water. Outside the water. Hop on the bed. Hop on that platform. Up uh, right there. Up uh, right here. Ooh, careful. Careful. Ah, the slaughterfish. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Am I getting slaughterfish still? No, they're just attacking everybody else. Good. <laughs> Ooh, do I hop on that sign? Oh, so close. Oh, am I getting slaughterfish? Oh, no, 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 no. I think there's actually no slaughterfish right there. Thank goodness. Oh, they, they were too busy eating everybody else. Okay, do I land in... 
Is that- is this gonna be able to support me? That's a question. Oh, apparently. Apparently. Oh! No, I missed it! Oh no, I missed it again! <laughs> Can I, what supports my weight and what doesn't? Apparently this basket of grapes will support my weight. Oh no, zombie! Stay- stay safe there! Oh no, I jumped in the water! I jumped in the water! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, let me up! <laughs> Can it support the both of us? You love the vines for the fake surface. No, I know, I know. Really good choices. So really going with that shipwreck type of a feel on this one, right? So the debris field is really fun. Okay, can I land on that barrel? Nothing is safe. Apparently nothing is safe. Oof, I made it. No, I didn't. I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. Oh no, save me books. Save me pile of books. <laughs> I guess the thing with the debris field is nothing really ought to be very stable or depend- Oh. Okay, the zombie, how do I get to ya? What is that in the water, by the way? Is that a shark? Is that- Oh! Oh no, there's a monster It's gonna come and eat a zombie! Oh no! How do I get there? Can I hop on that sea dragon head? Oh no, I didn't quite make it! A zombie! A zombie, forgive me, I have failed you! I'm gonna do the death counter. <laughs> oh no! Apparently this gets more and more difficult the farther you get. Now this one's a little unforgiving because you have to start over from the beginning because a slaughterfish are going to kill you, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm going to just swim my way. Swim my way out to a zombie. Come on, a zombie. Come on. If you're on PCNA, come over to Lil Fox's Grand Topo Hideaway. You can, you can try to save a zombie. Oh no! Try. Try is the keyword. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, good enough. Oh no, not good enough. I'm being eaten. Maybe the trick here is just to rely on some heals. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Save me, Mark Meyer chimes. Okay, doing a little bit better. A little. Oh, somebody made it! Oh no, how? How did you do it? A zombie has been saved, or is in greater danger than ever. No, then, don't you dare touch a whisker on her. Okay, how do you get there? That's what I want to know. Or can I just jump out there? Oh, wait, no, don't. Why are you dying? Here's a question. If I just jump out there... Oh, oh, they made it. I'm going to follow their lead. Oh, I didn't make it. No. Uh, no. Okay, I actually didn't. <laughs> uh, puts you back at the beginning. Okay, we made it. We made it. A zombie, I hope this can hold us all. Ooh, a zombie will reward us with magical coins. Worth it, worth it. Okay, a zombie's been saved. Cheer. <laughs> good job, good job. Oh man, dying a lot. I ended up not dying at all in PCEU, right? So we'll just keep the death counter here using Cardi's little thing. Okay, well, my ankles are a little sore from all the slaughterfish bites, but we made it. Good job, good job. Okay, we're going to continue along. We're going to go to uh, Hornheb's Moon Sugar Meadow up next. Hornheb had a lot of instructions for this. So, Hornheb. And if you're on PCNA, feel welcome to port on me or follow me into Hornheb's Moon Sugar Meadow. As well. Good job, good job, Noden. Noden, I think, was the first. Okay, so, <laughs> Hornhab says that this is a thing that they do really well. Um, so the theme is follow the elevated inspection path to get to a control room and shut down the skooma factory. It's a noble endeavor, noble endeavor. Just shutting down, oh gosh, I see the jumping challenge. Now, there are two ways to get past the checkpoint. It's a fool's rush in, oh no. Okay, some visual effects coming in with instructions. After you pass a checkpoint, the bypass bridge is raised, so you don't have to repeat anything if you fall. Oh, this might be a little tricky with multiple people, but I think it will be okay. Um, and they said that their best time is two minutes flat, but you know all the tricks and didn't have to read anything. Oh, it might be tricky then. Um, they say that there are five basic checkpoints and the two ways. There are at least two ways, at least, to do four of them. Often less obvious way is easier. They say expect to fall. Okay, so use the elevated inspection path to reach the control room. Shut down the skimmer factory. Welcome to the Moon Sugar 
Park, Uncle Shale's Illegal Skooma Factory. <laughs> Uncle Shale's Illegal Skooma Factory. Free tour, free samples. It's it's like the it's like the chocolate factory, except for it's Uncle Shale's Illegal Skooma Factory. We gotta shut it down. This is this is a fun concept. Of course, this would be Uncle Shale. Okay, inspection path begins here. Go up the ramp. I should be able to die here. If, okay, to redo a checkpoint, just reset the switch. Oh, see, we see the we see this moon sugar. We see the skooma production here. We have a thresher pool, guano storage. Apparently, guano is used in making skooma. Have to make it to the control room. Okay, starting here. Starting here. Starting on me. Okay, so we're starting with. Yep. Okay, so. It's fertilizer. Oh, for I see. It's guano fertilizer for the moon sugar. Ah, I see, I see. Creek Gemini says, oh boy, people went hard with this jumping challenge. I just threw some mushrooms in the air and went back to killing stuff. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we'll have a mix of uh, difficulties here, right? Okay. Starting in. Starting on me. In 10 seconds. I will have to stop to read some stuff, so... In 10 seconds. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay if I get a head start. Five, three, two, one, go. How do you get the effects? Oh yeah, these might not all be shared with the community. So at least for people that might not have the visual effects, they might just have to do this. Okay, the cane thresher shreds the stalks in preparation for the crusher. Guess should avoid the thresher's blades. Oh, there's a thresher blade. Act. As they say in Remen, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh-oh. Okay, so we've got... Oh! Clever. We have to jump on the signs. Oh, gosh. This is going to be hard. This looks hard. This looks really hard. Oh, gosh. Oh, they were able to make it pretty far, though. Now, there are checkpoints for this. So, if we make it to certain points, we'll be able to not have to repeat it. Oh, gosh. I have to jump onto the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So there's two ways to do this. Oh, the thresher pool has dead bodies in it, too. It has skeletons. I see those from here. It looks like I have to aim for that little platform right there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Or do I try to get onto this little thing first? Maybe that's going to be too far. This is a really tricky jump. Like, super tricky. Super tricky. And if even if I make it there, I don't know if I can actually keep going. Tricky, 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 tricky. Wind turbine. Oh, oh somebody's going... Oh, Dapper Blues is like way ahead of me. Oh, no. Cheating, cheating, cheater. <laughs> throw the switch. Okay, throw the switch. Oh, I didn't do that. Hornhab is here. Oh, I think that these were supposed to be spinning, weren't they? Oh, no. Maybe somebody else can flip the switch there. I think maybe they were supposed to be spinning and it was actually supposed to be even more difficult. Somebody could flip the switch on the other side. Unfair. Push them. Okay, the wind turbine. Push the switch to extend the bridge. Guess should not try to jump through the wind turbine veins. Oh. Uh, the gear jam. The bridge is partially extended. Oh, somebody already flipped the switch. Oh, they made it easier already. Hey. <laughs> Wait, how do you get there from here, though? Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like you have to go down. Go down. Reset the switch. Wait, you can reset it? Can I reset it? If I reset it, will that work? Okay, so here's... Let's see if that'll work. Might be too many people here. Okay, it didn't seem to do anything. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, it's spinning. Okay, so this is this is how it's more difficult. I see, these are supposed to be... Oh, nobody flipped the switch over there, though. Hey, flip the switch. No, it didn't. <laughs> oh, they might not have decorator permissions for this switch. Throw the switch. No, it didn't. Oh. I think these are supposed to be spinning, too. That's okay, that's okay. We'll keep going, we'll keep going. Wait, it stopped. It stopped spinning. Come on, we can spin. 
Okay, it's spinning. How do I get there? How do I get there? Oh, oh no! Oh, okay. I fell to safety. I fell to safety. Oh, lucky. I missed the target. I missed the target. But I can I can keep going up, I think. I think I I think I think uh oh. I th I think not. Oh no. Okay, good. <laughs> Voting booth. Elections have consequences. Walk, jump, or die. Your vote counts. Oh no, do you vote for Chimera or, or Euraxia? Oh, can I actually get there from here? Uh tricky jump? Tricky jump? I don't know if I can actually get there from here. <laughs> How how do I get back? Oh no, oh no, I fell. I have to start over. <sighs> no horror to have master of this all. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I want to see how this works. Okay, here's the switch, here's the switch. Oh, there is an easier way. There's a switch. Okay, so that's spinning, that's spinning. Oh, I see. So there's an easier way. Oh, it's going to knock me off. Oh, no. So close, so close. Okay, then we have the wind turbine. Von Cruz with the follow. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going we're gonna to try. We're going to try to do it. We're going to try to do it the right way. Ah, I didn't do it again. Oh, no. <laughs> so difficult. Yes, here's the skeletons. Other people that have fallen in. No, no. It's a deadly thresher pit. Okay, so uh, there uh, there are easy ways to do this, and then there are difficult ways. So these are kind of like the checkpoints, right? Okay, let's try let's try this again. This is really fun, Hornhead. Thank you so much. Uh, jumping! Ah, oh, so close! Oh, oh no, I fell. <laughs> you are now inspecting the slurry pool. Oh, I fell into the slurry pool. I've been able to get up there before. Oh no, it's, there's a hard way, then there's the hard way. Yes, yes, so they're kind of like two difficult, difficulty settings on this. I do like the checkpoint so that we can just kind of bypass this. It's been jammed up. Okay, it's gotta be, gotta be a way to do this. Okay, I think... Yeah! Ah, oh, can't quite do it. Bottling and shipping. Oh no. Okay, so it's Shayo's illegal skooma factory. So here's the thing. If I'm here, can I actually? I think maybe here's a trick. Here's maybe the trick. You have to vote, but you you want to vote for Kamira, right? Because because she's a good queen, the good Kajiti queen. But you're forced to vote for Euraxia because it's the only one I can reach. So I'm gonna vote for Euraxia. Oh no. Oh no, let's try that. Aha! I think that I, I think that actually That did it. That flipped the switch, the easy switch. Okay, so I think I can go back and, and do this. Okay, so I vote for Euraxia and now I can do it. There are two the, those two are unworthy, doomed to fall. Vote for Uncle Sheo, maybe. Oh, oh! So, Euraxia and Chimera aren't worthy, so maybe vote for Uncle Sheo. No, we're not trusting Uncle Sheo. We're supposed to shut his factory down. It looks like voting for, or maybe voting for Uncle Sheo revealed the next switch. Let's see, let's see. So, easy mode is activated. Thanks to maybe Euraxia's blessing. Maybe not Chimera. <laughs> this one's so great. Lots of EHT work here. Oh, do you fall through that? Wait, did, did they fall through that? Do these not have collision? Because it looks like they... Oh, no. Oh, no. Do they... No. Oh, no! They don't have collision! Tricky! Tricky! I wanted to test it. I had to test it. Hard to have. Choosing something that looks like it ought to have collision, and it doesn't. <laughs> so that's an actually interesting thing with um, housing in ESO, is that some items your character can just pass through, and others will be stable, like like these you can walk on, right? This you can walk on. This it tells something that you can't walk on. Wait, wait, wait! But now I see. I think there's been a board been placed under it. Under it. I see. So these just central housing tools to make it easy by placing a board under it. Okay, okay, cool. 
Okay, ooh, the switch, the switch. Inspection station three, skooma dryer. Do not attempt to inspect without safety bridge extended. Push the switch to activate dryer and extend the safety bridge. Oh, Thorold managed to get there. Oh, flip the switch, flip the switch. I hope this makes Thorold fall. Oh, oh, that looks scary. It's a dryer. It's flipping around. It's crazy, it's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, it keeps flipping around, too. Oh, no, it seems... Oh, this is scary. How do you time this right? It looks like you have to t try to time it when it's in the middle, right? I don't know if it's going to flip around again. Try this again. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I made it. Run up. And then maybe hop on top. Oh, oh, I nearly jumped. That would have been bad timing. Uh, uh-oh. Come back up, come back up. Don't fall on me. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, we're still trying to shut this factory down through Cheo's shenanigans here. Flying bridge to the control room. Wait, so is this just literally going to fly over there? I guess so. Let's find out. Oh, ah, spooky. You have to keep moving with it. You have to keep moving with it or it's going to fall out from under you. Be tethered to something for safety? No. Oh no, it's going really fast. It's going really fast. I can't keep up. Okay, and then I think I'm good from here, right? Oh, ooh, good thing. Good thing I was there. Okay, so we've made it to the control room. Now, this is, this is using a lot of visual effects, so, and animations. So we can add the sulfur flavors to the skooma. Yum, add, add back guano for thickness. That wasn't fertilizer after all, it was for the skooma. Um. The guano bar just is a barge full of guano, oh, gosh. Um, emergency shutdown. Warning, shutdown after all three additives enabled. Maybe explosive. Add charcoal for purity. Oh. Oh, no. Here's a question. Do we try to... Do we add things or not before trying to shut this down? Let's add everything. Add everything. I want to add everything. We're adding sulfur flavors. We're adding guano. Uh oh, we're adding the guano. We said charcoal. I don't know why. Okay, we did everything. Is it gonna blow up now? Make it go boom. We're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. I'm gonna try to get on the bridge. Maybe the bridge will be safe. I'm gonna be covered in guano here in a second. Ah, it's blowing up. Ah, it blew up. Well, I guess we shut it down. <laughs> good thing, good thing I went to the safety. Wait. I want to see if this is going to reset the guano. <laughs> because... <laughs> so... Oh no, the guano got added. I fell. And died. Perfect. Perfect. I was crushed by guano. Appropriate way to die. Especially in Shao's place. Okay, so I think we shut this this illegal skooma operation down, right? Through our jumping prowess. Thank you, Hornhab. I think that will do it. Anything else? I saw that Hornhab was off on their own little pedestal here, appropriately. Will that do it, Hornhab? Are you still here? <laughs> Watch your step. That's right. And we can have treats now. Maybe enjoy some skooma? <laughs> the irony is that you come over here to celebrate with skooma. We shut down the illegal skooma. We only want legal skooma. Wait, no. Um, looks like we can keep coming up here. Keep coming up here. What's up here? Just a nice view of everything. I hope I didn't break everything. I'm... Well, like super blew up. Like the entire top <laughs> blew over there. That was epic. That was awesome. Numerous OSHA violations. Okay, I think that will... Thank you, thank you. Okay. I think we did it. I think we did what we came here for, which was to navigate it through the jumps and blow up the place. Screenshot of the city rooms. Oh yeah, I need to get a screenshot of everything. Let me... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm not sure if I should keep the death counter on. I think I'll keep the death counter up. 
Well, I have my own death counter. I'll go ahead and hide that. Oh, no. Okay. As fun as it is. Okay, we'll get a screenshot. Okay, perfect. And we'll move on to the next one. Thank you, Hornhab. That was incredible. Great build. Satisfying. Satisfying jumping challenge. Okay, next up we're going to go to Mesa Ray Rays. Maybe took a little more long, longer than five minutes, but it was good. <laughs> Thorold says, great build. That was really fun. Okay, going to Mesa Ray Rays. Halls of Colossus up next. They say, follow the lanterns to find your treasure. Oh, there's going to be treasure. I like treasure. Okay, continuing along here. So if you want to come over to Mesa Ray Rays, Halls of Colossus, or port on me if you're in game on PCNA. <laughs> Just shut down the Skuma factory and then celebrate with the Skuma. Oh, Hornhub. Crazy. Okay, thank you, Lil Fox. Thank you, Lil Fox. Yep, I'm gonna send the guest journal here. Okay, Halls of Colossus. Oh, it's gonna be treasure. It's gonna be treasure. Mesa Ray Rays. Hall of Wounded Champion next. <laughs> If anybody's here. Okay. You can port on me. Port on me. Okay, where are we starting? We're starting with the lantern. I see. So we have a lantern here. We're going to follow the lanterns. We're going to try to follow the lanterns. Where do we start? Where do we start? Up a bit? Up a bit? Does this have collision? Oh, no. That's not going to have collision, is it? Not gonna have collision, do I dare? <sighs> Wait, am I supposed to come down this way? Wait, cause there's a lantern. Oh no, oh no, but it looks like it's a dead end. Am I trapped here? Oh no, why did I do this to myself? I got myself, wait, 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 this is maybe where the jumping challenge starts. I'm invading. Start here, do I start here? Okay, so we'll start here. Okay, it looks like we'll start about here. Okay, starting here. Starting. Starting past the sand. Starting past the sand. You passed the spot that would have gotten you stuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, yeah, looks like we can continue this way. Okay. Oh no, okay. The sand doesn't have collision. Tricky, clever thing. Okay. There we go. We'll wait for people to get in here, and then we'll start. A couple people here. Nodin's here. Thorold's here. It's a bit of a race. Altina's here. Okay, that'll, that'll do it. Starting in 10. Starting in 10. And there's treasure. We're aiming to get some treasure. Misa says it's got to go have fun. Oh, thank you, thank you. And three, two, one, and go. Oh no, okay, have to try to, ooh. Up on that, up on that, up on that. Oh no, they're beating me, they're beating me. Go this way? Uh oh, which way to go, which way to go? There are multiple ways to go. Multiple ways, multiple ways. I think I go this way. Oh, fun decor along the way too. Ooh, do we jump this way? Oh, tricky, or do I go up? They're like distractions, little distractions. Ooh, there's food, food. No, I think the jumping, the jumping challenge continues this way. Oh no, I got distracted and I, they got ahead of me. I like the big platforms. They're not super intimidating like all the other ones have been. <laughs> okay, we're following the lanterns. That's it, that's it. That's We need to follow the lanterns, not get distracted. Try not to fall. Try not to fall. Sometimes purposely fall. Uh, oh, it's close. Oh, wait, there's a little thing right there. Oh, that's tricky. I couldn't even see that little beam. Uh-oh. Oh, no, they're beating me. They're beating me. Not not acceptable. Distractions are clever, yes. Okay, up, 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 up. Following the lanterns. Oh, ooh, oh, no. They're, the steps are getting smaller. They're getting smaller. I nearly want to jump from here. Oh, 
Scary, 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 scary. I hope this is the right way. Does that have collision? Do I dare test it? Oh, I see the treasure. Maybe I can long jump from here. <laughs> just, just jump from here. Just jump way over there, right? I think it's a little too far. And if I fall that far, it will probably kill me anyway. Okay. Okay, I'm going to skip that blue thing, because that blue thing might lead to me falling through it and dying. Okay, following lanterns. Following... Oh, no. Do I hop on the blue thing? I don't want to hop on the blue thing. There's a secret path in the vines. Oh, yeah, I kind of... It said to follow the lantern. See, maybe I could just follow through that way. Okay, I'm going to jump on the blue thing and hope I don't fall through it. I didn't fall through it. Okay, good to know this one does not have collision. Oh, no. Oh, nearly overshot that. Nearly, nearly. Everybody's going to be enjoying the treasure without me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave some for me. Follow the lanterns. Oh, my gosh. Stabity doom. Stabity doom. Thank you so much. Welcome. If you haven't followed Stabity Doom, go follow her at twitch.tv slash Stabity Doom. Shout out there. Welcome to our parkour jumping challenge. We are currently in Mesa Ray Rays, Halls of Colossus, trying to, trying to navigate this place and get to some treasure. And if you're on PCNA and you want to come and join in the challenge, feel welcome to try that. Where do I go from here? I can't... There's like an invisible wall here, so I'm going to assume I just fall down from here. Is that correct? Uh-oh. Follow the lanterns. Do I go down to the water? Oh no. Oh no. Do I... There's like a little rock right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, I missed the rock. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Stabity. Hope your stream is great. We've toured so many great jumping challenges so far today. Oh, now here's a tricky thing, which is we're down in the water now, and there are slaughter fish in the water. So if we stay in the water too long, we will die. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Ugh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Cheated. Jump back out of the water. Okay, thank you. Okay, looks like we can go across the little bridge into the fluka. Can go over there or hop the baskets. We'll try to hop the baskets. Carefully. Carefully. Ever, ever so nimbly. Holding block can make it so that you can walk a little slower. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, doing good. We're almost there, I think. I think. Oh, no. Oh, I nearly missed that. Oh, so close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might want to turn Feather Falling Off with Magic Carpet if you're using that add-on. Oh, big jump from here. Big jump. Okay, we're so close, we're so close. Okay, how about, can I just long jump from here? I can! Treasure? Oh, there's a carpet. Am I going to fall through? I near, I should have remembered that you could fall through the carpet here. Okay, there's treasure. There's treasure. And the ultimate treasure. The ultimate treasure is going to be maybe hidden within this orb. I'm going to smash that. Smash the orb. <gasps> there's a cat. We freed a cat. Oh, no. We have bad luck now. Bad luck for the coffer. The coffer has a sweet roll. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we made it. And rewards await us. Goodbye, cat. Goodbye, cat. Here's a question. Is this carpet have... Uh, Collision. Oh, the mean thing to do would be to have this carpet <laughs> be here, and then you just walk into it, and the slaughterfish get you. Looks like maybe there was another way to this. Oh, I see. There was a, a little bit of a secret, easier path. Ah, tricky, tricky. Okay, fun, though. Okay, congrats. <laughs> congrats, everybody that already made it. These are fun. These are fun. Ooh, maybe, yeah, maybe this is a way to get back out. We got the treasure, we got the sweet roll. Can we get back out from here? Or maybe this is just an easier path out to it. Yeah, I see a secret path, secret path. Okay, really fun, really fun. So multiple ways to do this. Easy way and a hard way. <laughs> the treasure out there. 
I usually get screenshots along the way, but these are a little tricky as far as getting screenshots. Okay, we'll get some along the way. Okay, and we're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to go to Everelia's Moon Sugar Meadow up next. There's something wrong with your... Oh, okay, okay. That might be an issue. Okay, we're going to go to Everelia's Moon Sugar Meadow up next as we continue... Continue along with these. Okay, so we have... Everelia has multiple ways of doing this next jumping challenge. So... We can take a wood path, that will be the easy path. We can take the metal path, which is going to be the hardest path. And it makes sense. And we have the stone one, which is an average one. Everelia says that the stone one is the most fun. We will... We'll try the metal one first. We'll try the hard one first. And then go to the stone one. We'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm excited with the different levels of difficulty. The last one was Miso... Ray Ray's Halls of Colossus. Okay, Everelia's. Everelia's. Moon Sugar. Moon Sugar next. If you're using Essential House. Okay, so. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. So we can see lots of different. Oh, I'm trying to get a screenshot. Okay. Oh no, this looks scary. So wood is easy. Wood doesn't look like see see the wood path. It looks not super easy either though. Then we have the stone path, which is supposedly the most fun, and then we have the metal path using the clockwork stuff, which is going to be the hardest one. Now, so we have an arrow going this way. Okay, go this way. Let's start. Man, this this huge tower at an angle itself is like its own jumping challenge. Let's start here. Let's just start. Let's start here where it forks. Okay, so we can go the medium, medium way, the easy way, or the hard, hard. Is this the hard way? In the middle. Are those clock, clockwork plates. I can't quite tell. One sec. One sec. One sec. I'm not starting. Yeah, that's the middle one. Okay. Wait, 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 <laughs> come back, come back, come back, start here, start here, starting here, starting here, okay, so, we'll see how many people want to do this, if you're on PCNA, uh, port to me, or go to Everelia's Moon Sugar Meadow, if you want to participate here, okay, so, so, stone, is medium metal in middle is hardest and wood is easiest so i'll let people choose which one they want to do well i'll try to make it to the end button says i love how you are all going to the, use a different path i know i'm gonna try to do the middle one in the middle so we'll see so, even the wood one doesn't look super easy, though. But maybe the crates are close enough that you can just kind of, like, block, jump, and go that way. Okay, so we'll start here in... Okay, we have we have enough people here. Okay, start and then, start and then ten. Start and then... Ten. Ten seconds. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm gonna fall, aren't I? Three, two, one, and... Go! Okay, running... Okay, so I'm going the hard path. The hard path. Oh, I like the angle of this, because you kind of feel like you're bouncing off of them a little bit. And you can kind of go kind of a little bit faster on this. This is really fun. Oh, and then maybe fall to this. Falling, falling. Oh, scary. That, ah, scary. Can I fall? Oh, big fall here. Big fall here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no! Ooh, I nearly rolled off of that. That would have been really bad. Big jump, big jump. Everybody's probably already at their end. Is anybody else doing the hard one? Oh, somebody else is. Okay, good. Ooh, tricky, tricky jump, tricky jump. Oh, oh no, oh no, tricky jump. 
<laughs> I didn't get enough speed because I was blocking. Oh no, I have to start over. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Running, sprinting, sprinting. I should have put on some speed gear. Oh no, shame, shame. I fell. Jumping challenge. <laughs> Jumping challenge. Poor on me. Okay, here we go. Continuing. Oh no. This, even this little tower at an angle is tricky. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Starting over. Starting over. Wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. Okay. I gotta make that jump. Gotta make that jump. Gotta. This is this is fun. I actually really oh gosh. Really like the plating here where you're just kind of hopping off of them. Oh, I nearly, nearly fell. There we go. And not falling off of this. Oh, 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 so close, so close to dying. At least this isn't high up enough that I die. Okay. More people come in, more people come in. Good, good, good. Okay, jump the challenge continuing. Oh, 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 so close. So close. Oh, these are tricky with the angles. Oh, no. Oh, I nearly overshot that. That was super close. A little hop here. Just a little hop. Just a little hop. A little hop. And is this the end? Or is this just part of it? Where's our goal? Where are we supposed to try to get to? What ends up... Oh, it looks like maybe different ones have different rewards. I see, I see. So, maybe maybe we get the best reward for being here. We get blessed by Mephala with some nutriment paste and pie. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so, get our energy back. I think that'll do it. That's the end. Okay, so, you can mostly walk straight up the starter tower. Okay, so that was the middle one. I have to go try the other two now, right? So this is fun. It's fun with the three different paths. So they each have their own reward. I suppose that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the easy one up next, and then we'll do the the what ever really I consider to be the most fun one last. Okay, wood one this way. Wood one this way. Said it was the easiest. Is it going to be easy? I'll find out. It's like three challenges in one. It's crazy. It's crazy. It must have been difficult to line these all up, too. A lot of effort went into these. <laughs> Just kind of slowly make your way up. Slowly. Never always says it was hard for you. Oh, okay. Up, and up, and up, and jumping, ah, jumping, ooh, nearly, nearly fell, ah, this is, I keep not being able to get up, oh, there we go, there we go, scary, these are scary, these are a little scarier than I thought they would be, okay, keep going, keep going, nearly to the tent, nearly to the reward, there we go, there we go. Are we good? We're good. Reward, reward. We get blessed by Meridia with drinks and food. Perfect, perfect. So, celebration tent. <laughs> Thrill says that wish that we could place functional grappling points. That would ooh, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Okay, now the tricky one is this stone one, which Actually, maybe I can just start here. I wonder if I'll die. If I fall right here. <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay. Okay, continuing along with the jumping challenge. We'll do the stone one off to the side. No cheating. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, here we go. We're starting. We're starting. I'll, I'll wait until I'm alive so that I can die again. Okay, now I can die. Now I can die. Okay, stone one. Everybody said this was the most fun one. We'll test that one out. 
Ooh, we just have to get like really close to the edge so we can keep walking up it. Uh, I feel like I'm going to slip off. Oh, this is cool. It's like a big curvy thing. Oh, that's cool. And you have to like jump over the gaps. That is fun. That is fun. I like the curviness of it all. Oh! Oh no! Oh, okay. Apparently that carpet has no collision. Was I supposed to come this way? <laughs> I nearly died. And then I got stuck in a rock, apparently. What am I stuck in right now? What well, doesn't have collision right here? It's funny. I'm just like stuck in here. It's like hiding. I'm, pow I'm waiting. It's a J heart trap. That's right. Okay, well, I got out. What doesn't have collision on the bottom? It's some sort of a platform? Can't quite tell what this is. What is this? It's something that's upside down. That's the thing, is sometimes things will have collision on the top, but not on the bottom. So if you flip them upside down, then you're good. Okay, continue along. Uh, the reward is almost there. Wait, can you just walk over there and get the reward? Hey, no cheating. Hey, hey, no, no, bad. <laughs> They're trying. Maybe they can't quite get to it. I couldn't get to it. Upside down elsewhere tower. Is that what it was? No, it's just like a platform. Is it these Siller Stones? Oh, these are kind of like a rare thing, too. They espe they especially look like they would be very blocky and have collision. They're very... They, you get these from the Old Velothi Harbor House if you buy it with gold. Oh, close. Close. Reward! Oh my gosh. Okay, Everelia has rewarded me with a drink and some sweet rolls and Sheo. Oh, what does Sheo have for me? A blessing of Sheo in the coffer. More sweet rolls. Glorious, glorious. It's a snack. It's a snack. So, we did it. We did all three. Thank you, Everelia. That was great. That was great. So, if you want to come to Everelia's Moon Sugar Meadow, she has a multi-tiered jumping challenge here. It's incredible. Really, really fun to see that. <laughs> I like the different paths there. I didn't think to use those Silver Stones. Like, they're so rare anyway. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. You can keep at it if you want. Okay, we're going to go to Atin's Lunar Champion. Atin had a little bit of backstory for this one. So they say, Hello, I am in need of your assistance. My wagon has appeared to have broken down in the halls of Colossus. Even if it was... Half price, that's the last time I buy from a talking imp. Repairs to their wagon are slow going, as you can imagine. They've managed to make camp in the meantime, but more importantly, seem to have misplaced their sweet roll. It's the strangest thing. I went to have it for lunch today, and I seem to have misplaced it. If you can help me find it, I'll gladly share it with you. Thank you in advance, Atin. Okay, so we need to go f help Atin. Atin has... Broke it down the wagon. It might have been cursed by an imp. And... <laughs> Atin's Hall of the Lunar next. Okay, we're here. You can port on me. Port on me. You can port on me if you're in the guild. So if you're on PCNA. There we go. But, uh... Atina is here on Twitch chat says, Mine is super simple compared to everyone. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we need to help them try to repair their wagon. That might not be doable, but we at least need to help them find their sweet roll. They misplaced their sweet roll. So that's super important. Atina is here. We're here to help. We're here to help. I don't think you've ever completed a parkour. I mean, like, the real life parkour things are, like, crazy and, like, dangerous. <laughs> At least, at least to people that don't know what they're doing. Though I've heard that a lot of people also, like, injure themselves or die. So it's not something they take lightly. Okay, they're repairing a wagon, but they've misplaced their sweet roll. Let's, wait, don't start, don't start, don't start, don't start. No start. No start. No start. <laughs> they're, all, they're all cheating. They're all just cheating. Looks like we have to go up this way. Looks like we start here. 
Starting here, starting here. Let's, let's uh, see. Where would their sweet roll be? It must be up high. I would guess it's up high. I'm not actually sure. Where's the path? Where? Oh, I, I think I see. So we have to get up there, kind of go along the clothes lines, and then up the rocks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Atin says, the hardest part is probably figuring out where to start, but if you can, can't figure it out, I'll point it out. I think we're good. I think we'll start here. Great Dermine says, people that hang off mountains and cliffs with nothing but a six-inch steel pin hammered in a rock, keeping them alive. Yeah, that's creepy. Okay, starting in 10. Starting in, starting in 10. <laughs> oh no, everybody's cheating. Ah, uh, no. Oh. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> Go. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, hey, trick. Oh, tricky. Ah, there's a little rock right here. A little rock to the side. A little rock. A little rock. Okay. Now, my guess is we go this way, actually. So it doesn't actually matter if we get all... Ooh. Looks like you can either go across the trees or I'm going to try to fall down onto the clothesline. I don't even know if that has collision. It does. Ooh. Tricky, tricky. This reminds me of the merchant in in uh, Deshaun that has the little clotheslines that you jump on. Ooh, does this, does this have collision? It does. Okay. I'm going to imagine we follow this. We missed four deaths. <laughs> yeah, I died. I died a lot. Okay, continuing along. I'm going to, wait, there's another ramp right there. Okay, I see the rocks. I'm going to guess that the rocks are the path. Oh, the camera's not my friend here. Camera's not my friend. Camera, definitely not my friend. Oh no, the trees are in the way. Okay, we'll keep going up, keep going up. Oh, I nearly missed that. Keep going up, hop. Oh, so close. So, I still don't see a sweet roll. Uh-oh, maybe this was all a red herring. Uh-oh, I can't get up, I can't get up. Hop me. <laughs> Wait, no, no, there's a path up that way. Ooh, do I have to be up? Or do I just jump from down here? Maybe I can just jump from down here. Maybe, I don't know if I'll have the height for it though. I think I can't get up there. So, I shall try to jump from here. Oh no, I don't know if I can do it. Just jump, oh, let's try it. Oh no, I missed it! After all that! Oh no! No! No, I have to start over. Okay, I can only I can only give us a couple goes. It looks like I was making such good What did I fall through? I was making such good progress. I was making such good progress. Wait, I think I could just like fall onto the clothesline from here. Okay, okay, we'll try that again. Oh, it didn't take too long before, right? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Youch. Youch is right. Here's the thing. I think this is kind of like how you had to do it in Mornold. Jump on an angle and just try to jump <laughs> onto the clothesline from there. Just bypass everything, right? Oh, so close. So close. I'm trying to cheat. I'm trying to cheat just a little bit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to simplify things. It's maybe not working out so well. Oh no, okay. I'll I'll go the right way. I'll go the right way. <laughs> fun times, fun times. Dude. <laughs> Tiny little violin. Oh, oh. Okay, now I now I can go. Slowly, slowly. You can usually light attack to try to reposition yourself a little bit. Ah, scary, scary, more scary, slippery, the trees, why did you, I swear you put the trees there on purpose, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, you said it would be super simple, it's like super unforgiving, okay, let's try this again, we'll try to jump from here, we'll try to jump from here, 
Oh, I did that. Okay, good, good, good. Now, is a sweet roll here? There's a coffer. There's a coffer. Coffer has a sweet roll. We found the sweet roll. Hi. Who put it in the coffer? Interesting. Reward. Reward. Cheer. Cheering. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Good job. Can I get on that platform from here? I can. Aha. Aha. Oh, you kind of float on top of it. No wonder I couldn't hop on top of it, because it has, like, super high collision on top of it. Okay. Yay. Found your people. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. I don't know if everybody was able to make it to the sweet roll. I can keep going at it. <laughs> okay. Next up. Next up. We're just a few homes left as we continue with our jumping challenge. This is really fun. Okay, we're going to go to... Zelitos up next. Zelitos Hall of Lunar Champion. Remen Temple. We had gone to Zelitos home before with the Potato Temple, so we saw part of the jumping path during that tour. Our potatoes were amazing, by the way, so you can see screenshots of our venerable potatoes entries at spicyeconomics.com or see the VOD on YouTube. So, oh, they were so good. They were so good. Um, okay, getting over to Zelitos Remen Temple. Hall of Lunar Champion. It's going to be a jumping challenge. For on me for next one. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. It's like if I if I do it quickly, then I just move on to the next one. And if if they do it, they have to wait for me. Anyway, that's okay. It's okay. Plotra says, I'm going to uh, preface your build by saying that I fully understand if you quit after two minutes. Oh, that's fine. I think Plotra tried to make it super difficult. Okay, so I see, I definitely see a jumping challenge. Kind of backtrack it. Looks like we maybe start here. Yeah, I see little ledges here. I think we start under the column. Okay, so I think we have to go up and then follow the path and... Follow the boulders, go up that way, and maybe as a final place, we get to that building up there. I think that will do it. Okay, okay. I've got some more people in here. Okay, Z Lito's Hall of Living Champion. I'll start under the arch. Starting under the arch. Hall's of Colossus. Call some classes. Yep. Okay, we're getting we're getting there. Getting some more people in here. Getting some competition in. Madigan with a hello. Great to see you. Great to see you. We're doing a jumping challenge. We've toured a bunch of jumping obstacle courses so far. I've been able to complete them all. Uh, it's been good. That's been good. Uh, and if you don't know Madigan, you definitely need to go follow Madigan at twitch.tv slash Madigan. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, if anybody's on PCNA right now during the live stream and you want to come and join us, go to Zelito's Halls of Colossus. Starting on, uh, starting on over here, over here. Goblin love, what the follow? Thank you, thank you. Welcome to our jumping challenge stream. <laughs> you like watching it, don't like doing it. This has been difficult. It's been it's been really fun to see what people put into their jumping challenges. So. Uh oh, nobody's here. Nobody's here. Over this way. Midnight says it's really atmospheric. There's a lot going on with this home. Over here. Over this way. Over here. <laughs> I think the starting place is under the under the arch over here. Where's the arch? Here. You see me? You see me over here? Okay. Couple of people. We're gonna race. We're gonna race. We're gonna try to. Try to make a contest out of this. Okay, I think we have three people in here. Keep, I don't know. We'll keep losing people. <laughs> They're probably out the other house and still trying to complete them. 
Right, where did you go? Where did you go? Uh, I, I swear I saw somebody before. Where did they disappear to? That's okay. We'll start here. Starting on me <laughs> in, in 10. In 10. Oh, there's, okay, we have four people. Five, three, two, one, and go. Okay, so we... This is a little tricky. It's a little tricky to figure out where to go. I think we go this way. Have to get up here? Uh-oh. Get up here? Get up here. <laughs> Try to, at least. Okay, a little, a little bit of a ledge. Little... Oh, tricky jump. Tricky jump over that way. Oh, no. You, like, hit your head on it, too. Oh, no, this is not... Not a nice one. This is a mean one. <laughs> Hit your head on everything as you try to get through. Now, this is actually an interesting thing using the Halls of Colossus because it kind of does have some of these natural ledges as well. Okay, how do I get from here? Uh, maybe, maybe this is a... Well, they were able to jump on it. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go, there we go. So I don't want to hit my head. That's a tricky part. So I hit my head, I'm gonna bounce back down. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, now, we made it to maybe the first part. Keep following the path. Keep following the path. Follow the path. Oh, it looks like there's boulders. Boulders are the next challenge. Uh-oh. This looks like an unforgiving course, because I think if you fall, you're going to have to start over. So, try not to fall! Easier said than done. These these boulders don't look super stable either. Like, if you hit them at a weird angle, you're probably just going to slip off. Ah! Oh no! Oh, this is going to be hard to do the trajectory on this one. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! No, the boulders, they have eluded me. Oh no, it's start over. <laughs> I'll give it a couple goes. This might be a difficult one. This... That's, that's kind of been a theme throughout this, which is some of these are going to be forgiving and some of them are going to be n not so forgiving. Oh. oh no. Must make it. Must not die too many times. Well, I haven't already died yet, but... Start over. I don't want to start over. Zero collision boulder. Oh! 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 Careful! 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 Okay. Seem to have been able to nail this down. Well enough, at least. Okay. Continuing along. The boulders. The boulders. Is anybody able to get past them yet? I don't really... See that they have been able to. Quick, Gemini says that yours is really short and simple, except for the final one. Oh no! Evil challenge. Okay, got to the first one. See, these rocks are tricky because you kind of want to get up high on them, but then you want to you need to jump before you start falling down, or you're just gonna like fall really badly. And before I actually jump too much, I jumped too much and went between the next two boulders, so that's tricky. Do I... I don't think I can get enough ground if I go block jumping, though. Oh, no! I just kind of bounced off of it. <laughs> Perfect! I mean, totally intended. Totally intended to bounce off the rock and fall onto the other one. Uh, yes. Yes, I meant to do that. I haven't fallen yet. This one's really hard. I don't really know how to do this precisely. Jump with the eyes closed and hope for the best. I think that's about what you have to do sometimes. Okay, well... Gosh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I slipped. I slipped. Oh no. Oh no. I think I can only do it like one or two more times, so I'll have to give up. <laughs> but that's okay. It's, it's been fun so far. Oh no! Some else gave up. No! No! You can do it. You can do it. 
There's gonna be. I think the thing with this one is, I think if you don't do it, that there is a second pass, so I can still see what the reward would be like. Okay, getting good. Getting good at doing this first part. Jump with while hitting space with your fingers crossed. So, okay, I'm getting good at this part. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again. Let's bounce off of the other one. Oh no, okay, here we go. Here we go. Jump onto this. Hop across the next two. Oh, yeah, okay, that did work. I just kind of walked onto the next one. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now it gets tricky. This one's hard. I think last time I didn't actually jump far enough. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So close, so close. It's really not that far as a thing. Maybe I just hop it with the block on. Let's try that. It wasn't enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I fell. I hurt myself. Okay. <laughs> Do I give it another go? Do I give it another go or move on? So, let me at least see where this goes. No, I know, I know. The rock bounces you across the water. <laughs> One more go. What? Last go, last go, last try. Honest try, honest try. Will not make any mistakes. No mistakes at all. It's going to be amazing and so rewarding at the end. Right, right, no mistakes. Okay, perfect. 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 Good enough. Ah, oh, no, I can do it, I can do it. Jumping, hopping, and hopping over the next two. I hope this works. Worked the last two times. There we go. <laughs> Just kind of walk across it. Okay, now the tricky one. The tricky one. I'm kind of getting better with it each time too. Kind of learning how the rocks work. Oh, barely, barely, barely. Okay, it's not very far. Oh, that little thing. I slipped off of it. Oh no. No. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see where this goes. Let's let's follow it. Maybe you can come and try this too. Let's see. It looks like you go up there, go up there, and hop over this rock. This rock looks like it would be tricky too. And then you make it to the end. You make it to the end. So I'm glad that we can come and check out the end. Okay. Okay. Do try really challenging with the rocks there. It's like really hard to figure out how you're going to land on them. Okay. And you get to the end and into a magical place. Magical places where you get to celebrate. Perfect. Sit on the throne. Relax. My feet are tired at this point. Button says, I love the entrance that they made for the ending. Yeah, it's fun. It kind of continues with the kind of broken down kind of floaty rock theme and then kind of goes into these ruins so it's fun okay thank you zilito really challenging jumping jumping course <laughs> okay a couple of npcs moo. <laughs> of course i say moo okay and we'll i'll try to get a screenshot and then we'll move on to the next one Uh, maybe I'll have to come back. Oh, I'll figure out the best place for a screenshot in a bit. Well, this will work. This will work. With the rocks. The rocks are important. It's creepy, creepy rocks. It's slippery. They're slippery. Okay, we're going to keep moving along. We're going to go to... A gender fox is up next. Gender fox... Grand Cedric Villa up next. Naughty Rocks, I know. A gender fox had a little bit of backstory. They say um, that their build is based on the Whip Race from Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. It's not a title I'm familiar with. Kind of familiar with Zelda, but not Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. 
Agenda Frog says it's a really obscure reference that I doubt anyone will get. But anyway, that's the background of the build. Okay, maybe maybe anybody would know what that means. Seems like it's going to be some sort of a challenge track, though. Okay, port on me <laughs> for the next one. Okay, where are we starting? Is that an NPC or is that... The whip race attendant says, Good of you to come by, Link. I am Link now. Try your hand at a whip race? It's just 50 rupees. So no, how many times do I have to pay the fee? <laughs> Agenda Fox, you're here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, the whip race. I got whipped along the way. The Moo Link. It's a Moo Link. Perfect, perfect. Okay, looks like we'll start down here at the bottom. Don't start. No start. Don't start yet. So where do we go? We go up. Up and up and up, and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for tagging along, by the way. Okay, this will be fun. This will be fun. The first part of this is just going to be a test of consistency, because each of these jumps looks about like the last one. But you have to do it repeatedly, so over and over again. Don't make any mistakes. Okay, starting... Starting in 10. Three, two, one, and go! I <laughs> think somebody just came in. They'll be able to get there, right? Uh-oh. Oh no, I already can't jump this. I have to try to figure out how to do one, and then I can do the rest, right? I think maybe the trick to this is to go at an interesting angle like this. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's creepy things along the way. Oh no. Don't eat me, creepy things. And hopping. Okay, I, I have a system. I have a system. Go at a kind of interesting angle, and... No. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's going well so far. So far, so good. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's different. I don't like things that are different. How do I do this? How do I do this one? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Carefully. Carefully. Oh. <laughs> I like how you, you think that it's going to continue the way it is, and then they throw you for a loop. No, this messes up my system, because I can't get any distance from this angle. Uh-oh. 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 How, how do? How do? How do? Maybe I can back up a little bit. Oh, no! I missed it! I missed the jump! Okay, let me just try this again. Okay, get up here. Oh, no! Oh, no! I fell again! Oh, no! I fell again! <laughs> hey! That's no fair! No, I have to start all over. Oh no. They're doing it better than I ever did. Building it. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Except for now. I'm all sorts of messed up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Starting over, starting over. No, oh, no. Oh no. I'm off my rhythm. I'm off so much falling. At least it's not dooming me to a slaughterfish death after each jump, right? Oh gosh. What am I doing wrong now? See, I'm I'm deviating from my system. But my system wasn't ever going to work perfectly anyway. Go ahead and angle and it seems to work better. Okay, there we go. This is fun, Agenda Fox. Oh, 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 okay. We're going to get to the tricky part again. Oh, they made it over there. Oh, I didn't even see how they did it. Maybe I could just long jump from, like, right here. <laughs> just bypass it entirely. Maybe. 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 Maybe that little board is too too much of a hassle. Not worth dealing with. Ha! 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 Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, the creepy things. The creepy things. Okay, keep going. Oh, long jump, long jump. Those are pretty high up. If you do, you're doing it very wrong. 
Should not die at all. Oh, I shouldn't die at all. If I die, I'm doing it wrong. Well, let's make it fun then. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that was close. Wait, can I just come down here? Looks like there's like a safety point here. Oh, okay, okay. Oh no, it's a little... No, 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 no. Oh no, they forced me. A gender fox, that's no fair. That's no fair. Forcing everybody to go with the small ones because I bypassed the other one. Oh no, oh no. I'm going to assume that my... Oh gosh. It's not much of a saving point. <laughs> no, no, I'm, re I'm regressing. I regressed all the way to the beginning. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the small ones. It's the, it's the little small ones will get ya. Okay, okay. I'm over jumping. I just need to be block casting. Blocking, 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 blocking my way up. Slowly, block walking. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm of the jumps. It's working. I just kept walking and it kept working. Okay, this one this one's not gonna skip though. I'm gonna try to skip this one again. Okay, that'll work. I will have to face that foe before too long here though. No kinkers. Oh, so close. So scary. Oh, so close, so close. Okay, maybe I can just keep doing that with this too then. Oh, this is frightening because it's just such a narrow jump. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. I keep like hop, <laughs> oh no, no, no. So, no, 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 can't believe this. No, no, I give up, I give up. <laughs> so close. Why, why? I, I go into like panic mode as soon as I fall. I should just stop moving, right? No, this is fun. It is fun though. I gotta say the design of this is keeping, keeping my interest. Because it's like self-punishing. It's like I know that I should just stop moving, but I feel like I need to complete it as fast as possible. Oh, gosh. I know something with the boards is I was nearly bouncing off the next one. Have you ever played Guild War 2? Lots of jumping challenges. Uh, no, I haven't. ESO doesn't really have a lot of jumping challenges. There are a couple things here and there, but not much. It's mostly just about like getting onto the guild trader stalls and whatnot. Or weird places in Vex City are always fun. Those are my favorite. <laughs> it's more frustrating than the Zelda game. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, went too far. Oh. Maybe just hug the wall. Hug the wall a little bit. Oh. No, no. Hugging, not good enough. <laughs> Won't overthink that one. Oh no! Oh, okay. Just don't panic. Just fall backwards and I'm kind of safe. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Safety point, checkpoint. Oh, I see. If I ever actually do fall, I can actually just walk all the way back up here. I might just cheat the next time then. Oh, somebody made it. Somebody made it. Good job. Good job. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, this is tricky. I think I could just top from here. Can I just top? Oh no! That's what I get for trying to cheat! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm awful! I'm awful! I didn't want to make that one final jump and it, it punished me severely. No, oh, no, I'm doing the thing where I'm not, not thinking straight. Oh no! No! I don't so, know! I was so close. I was so, so close. This actually is pretty forgiving, all things considered. 
no, no. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go cheat. I'm gonna go cheat. Okay, there's a saving. Wait, I can't get to it from here though. Ah, uh, sure I can. Sure I can. Okay, we're gonna go to the checkpoint. Okay, I'm gonna go to the non non jumping checkpoint. We'll see. We'll see if that will help. Oh, I nearly fell off there. Okay, I'm a cheat and I'm a cheat and I'm a cheat and. That was car yeah, that was instant instant karma. Try to cheat. And it's planned perfectly. This is not a very short shortcut though. Okay, now I can get to the cheat point. There we go. Saving point, save point. At least you don't have to deal with the jumps with the with the stress of it, right? Okay, one jump. Oh no, they're about to make it. Oh, they, they 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 made it. Good job. So close. So out. Oh, no, they're opening up rewards without me. No, I'm jealous. I'm gonna m mess everything up in my jealousy. Kind of double jump that one. It's a little tricky, a little kink that you put in there. Okay, how about from here? How about from here? I'm so close. I'm so close. Is it gonna happen again? Oh, I made it. I made it. I made it. Reward time, sweet roll time. Perfect, thank you. The girl says all jumping house creators. How are there only four deaths? <laughs> what did we do wrong? I know, I know. Sweet roll, perfect, perfect. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm glad. I'm glad that this is doable. God, nobody trolled me by making any that weren't doable. Okay, that was good. That was good. Thank you. Next up, we're going to... There's a couple left. Uh... Vu... Donja's... Saro Jungle House next. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. Bandari House. Thank you, Gender Fox. Button says, I love how so far it's been nothing but sweet rolls in the Gender Boxes. <laughs> That's always a reward, isn't it? Thank you so much. That was, that was fun. It was fun. I like the spiral nature of it because it's like you fall down and it's not like you go all the way back to the beginning. You don't have to start all the way over, but you have to make one more rotation around. So un until that you panic and keep jumping and fall down three times in a row. Okay, Vodan to the Serdolk Jungle House. This probably won't... Well, there's, a, there's enough room. <laughs> what is this place? Sign the guest journal. Let's see. Port on me for the next one. There's not going to be a lot of room in this one. Okay, is there a backstory on this one? I don't really know where to start. We're in only room for six people. Now, there's a bit of backstory. This is the home of a paranoid Bosmer. AD scout slash assassin. So they are a scout or assassin for the Aldmeri Dominion. And the trick here is no ground. The, the floor is lava. We're trading at the floor is lava. And and the high, to get to the hideout will require even more jumping. So, okay. So traps. Traps and poison on the jungle floor stay up <laughs> okay yeah i can see i can see the traps here so we can't actually walk on those we have to i think we have to follow the branches to try to stay off of those oh gosh this is gonna be tricky it's gonna be tricky yeah it's kind of like a floor is lava challenge if you fall into the jungle floor you impale yourself on the traps, and it's basically like you die. Okay, it looks like there's gonna be maybe multiple ways to get up here. Just start whenever. Start now is good. Start now is good. Floor floor is lava. Floor is lava. In a way. In a way. It's poison. You'll die. You'll get impaled. They're covered with poison darts too. I, I tips, I imagine. Okay, following the tree branch. It's really hard to see. So this is a Bosmer. Paranoid. And they, they're in the 
deadly line of work, so makes sense that they would be. Ooh, how hard do I go from here? It's so hard to see with all the cover of the... Oh, no, we're... Ooh, wait, 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 there's like a little rock. There's like a little rock. Maybe I can jump on that. Maybe not. Is that part of the house? I think that's part of the house. Oh, did I fall? Am I on the floor? Did I fall into the jungle? Oh, no. Oh, no, I fell into the jungle. Ah, there's traps everywhere. Oh, no, I'm dying. I'm going to pretend like I didn't die, though. <laughs> I guess I start over. If I can. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I'm super stuck. I'm super stuck. Oh, no, I'm dying. Okay, let's start over. Starting over. Where to go? Where to go? Yeah, there's room for one more. Welcome to the jungle. That's right. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, this is really tricky to navigate. Like, I don't even really know where to jump to is the thing, and it's like, impossible to see. Do I just jump blindly straight ahead? Let's try... Oh, no, I fell! No, I fell right into a trap. Uh... Uh, it died. <laughs> okay, starting over, starting over. I haven't actually died. I hurt myself a little bit. Okay, let's try that again. Looks like this first jump is tricky. First jump is just kind of like a leap of faith. Like the Bosmer that lives here would know where to go, though, right? Oh, I overshot. Oh, no. Ugh. <laughs> Blindly straight ahead. <laughs> That's it just jump blindly straight ahead. It's always the best. Yeah, I can't actually see what I'm supposed to land. Wait, oh, way over there, way over there. Kind of at an angle. There we go, there we go. Up higher. Okay, doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, trying to get into the house. That's right, trying to get into the house. Oh, that slippery branch! Oh no, that's no fair. That's no fair at all. They probably knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, oh, it's, oh, slippery branch. Oh, oh no, I'm getting all jabbed up again. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I knew. I know that. Vudanja has done a lot of cool housing stuff. They, they knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, they're so mean. They're so mean. Danger. Vudanja. Too much boss. It's hard to see. It makes sense for the paranoid Bosmer. The scout would know exactly how to get through this. I think I'm... So instead of trying to jump on that, I'm going to try to overshoot it. That worked. Okay, and celebration inside? No, there's more inside. We haven't quite got to the end yet. So to, once we're in the hideout, there's actually more jumping to get to the end. They see, ooh, they're like pressure plates and everything. Little traps set throughout this place. Okay, so we're not quite to the end yet. We're not there. Where, how to get up, how to get up. Tricky jumps, tricky jumps, tricky jump up. Oh, so I can't quite tell where I'm supposed wait, 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 wait. What is, what are these little posts? Little posts in the wall. I think I see, wow, okay. I, I see, I see. I think I see what you're supposed to do. It's crazy. Okay, so I think what we're supposed to do is start with the bookcases. Go up here. Oh, this is tricky. This is super tricky. Super, super tricky. Okay, I think we have to go from lamp to lamp to painting and then hop across the ivory. Until we can get... Wait, how did you get up there, Greek? Hey! Hey! <laughs> no fair! Hey, what the heck? I, I was blocking. I got, like, pushed off. That was weird. It was super weirdly slippery. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Maybe... Or maybe there's another way. Going that way. 
Now, I'm kind of curious. Oh, great damn I got up there that way. <laughs> Without going across the ivory pegs. Maybe, maybe it's doable, though. Oh. Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll just go up this way. <laughs> I'll try to go up this way. Oh. Not good enough, not good enough. Oh, wait, hey, they were able to do it. No fair, no fair. Okay, well, so much for my theory about the ivory pegs. Okay, now we're up here. And I think that'll do it, we're in the hideout. And we're trapped, we're trapped, okay, good. Good job, good job, everybody. <laughs> Overthinking everything. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go to Collectra's Moon Sugar next. Collectra's Moon Sugar next. Okay, perfect, perfect. Two left, just two left. A jumping challenge. Oh, these have been really fun. I'm gonna come back and get some screenshots along the way. Okay. Two, two more jumping challenges. And if you're on PCNA, you can come and join me for, for these last two. Make a challenge of it. Greek Gemini says, was mine earlier? Yours is last, Greek. Yours is last. We're doing Greek's last. I'll have to see if Wolfstar is on. Wolfstar was maybe thinking of entering one, but never actually sent me an entry mail. Because he said on the forums that they had to tweak it. <laughs> Okay, Collectra said, Collectra had maybe a little bit of a backstory, which was that they are maybe, maybe not, it's not quite, doesn't quite have an end yet. So we'll try to go. Okay, port on me for the next one. Port on me for next one. So we'll just get to the end. We'll get to the end and then that'll be it. That'll be it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start to scout ahead. Is that collector down there? Okay, where do we go? We go that way, and oh goodness, I like how everything has different shapes because every single jump is going to be its own challenge. Oh, I see these little statuette jumps. Oh, that's going to be mean. That's going to be awful. <laughs> it's fun, fun, fun. Okay, and then we go up and down and up and down and oh wow, it just keeps going and going. I see a guar thing that we have to go on to too. Okay, go whenever. <laughs> start. We'll just start. We'll just start. This looks crazy difficult. It does look crazy difficult. I don't. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. These angled jumps are just like mean because you have to like. <laughs> they just are. They just are mean. That's all that there is to that. Ah. Oh no. Try that again. I'll try that again. Kind of bounced off of it. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, everybody's falling. Perfect. Perfect. I love to see every everybody fail. It's all I ever want. Okay. Tricky. Tricky jump. I nearly made it. I nearly made it last time. And jump. Oh, it kind of like pushed me off to the side. Oh, it like bounced off. Oh, no. I hope I'm not stuck here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Collector going with a difficult challenge. We'll try that again. Try that again. Collector did say that we might want to give up after like two attempts. I think it's technically doable. Technically doable. Okay, how ooh, I need some major hops from this this distance. Oh, that's not a major hop. Collector, yeah, everybody's here. Everybody's here supporting. You can do it. Has anybody even... Oh! Oh! Somebody made it! No! No! They're not allowed. They're not allowed to... Oh! I have to... Oh, gosh. Blocking. Blocking does not prevent you from falling. Just a... By the way. Just a... Heads up on that one. Rip. <laughs> oh, no! They're, like, slippery, too. Why... Why are they so freaking slippery? 
Like, I was on it for a second. You have to be, like, right on the middle of it or you slip off of it. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, they just kind of ran... Ran off of it. Oh, no, okay, here we go. Just fall onto it. It's so... It's far away, though. I guess it's possible. If I can even get back up there again, that's the tricky part. Okay, try that, we'll try that, we'll try that. Okay, just fall onto it. Falling onto it. Ah, see, didn't go at a good angle. Man, Collectra, and it just like keeps going from here. So I think, I think this is probably going to take the cake as far as the most difficult one. So if you want like a real, uh, like a really, really, really difficult jumping challenge, come over to Collectra's Moon Sugar Meadow and maybe, maybe we can make this like a guild thing <laughs> later. Um, Collectra's Jumping Challenge. I want to like get some distance before I jump, but oh gosh, maybe if I angle myself a little bit better. Earth. Oh, there we go. Progress. Progress. I've made progress. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Oh, it's like a far jump. Oh, no. Okay. Can I make it? It's kind of a satisfying jump right there. Ooh. If I, if I go down this way, am I going to like fall? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. I feel like if I just start running, I'm going to skip off of this. Because I've seen that happen before. I'll try it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Tricky. 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 Barely. Barely. It's just like a really steep angle on that one. I hope I can make it. Barely. Trying. Trying my... Darn this here. Turn around. Oh, the beams, the beams, the beams. Oh, that was close. That was super close. I think I could just fall off of this one, though. Little statuettes. These little statuette jumps. This is mean. This is. Everly has did a really good job with this. Or, not Everly. A Collectra. Collectra, sorry. I both have an A. <laughs> it's not much of a resemblance, is it? It's a little statuettes. Collectra, I'm amazed. I'm am Oh, no! What the heck, slippery statuette? No! 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 What? What? What gives? That's n not nice. Not nice. I was so confident. I was overconfident. I, mean, I can't just walk onto that. See, it's not... You have to jump a little bit. Like, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, no. Okay. I think the whole thing about giving up might be might be wise advice here. See, here's what you learn from this. Just never try anything. You'll just... You'll probably fail. That's... That's... Right. Right. It's my, my takeaway so far. Yeah, it's not working. It's not working. No, 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 no. You can do it with persistence and, and hard work. A little bit of luck and ingenuity. It could maybe maybe survive Collectra's jumping challenge here. I don't know about that. Oh, no. Somebody trying this says that the uh, physics for speeding up in this game sucks. <laughs> yeah, acceleration is not going to be very intuitive in this. Um, it's tricky. It's there's nothing super intuitive about the physics of this. You just have to try to get lucky sometimes. I think ah, uh, I died. Uh, okay, I think I think I'll give up. Um, there's not any secret way to get to the little statuettes. Now let's just kind of follow the path here. So. You get to the statuettes, which were slippery. At least the one overhanging the ledge. See, if I had slipped on any of the previous ones, it wouldn't have been a problem. And then you continue along with the statuettes. So you go across that way, up and down, and across, and big long jump here. Up 
And over over to platform, a little bit of safety here. <laughs> the death. <laughs> Big platform here. Lend into the soft nest of guar tails. Oh gosh, that's like a really long jump. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So what you have to do is you have to hop from gear to gear to gear to gear to gear all the way up, slide down, go up the rocks, from rock to curvy rock to curvy rock. Make a hard 90 degree angle over the cauldron. A lot of super, super long jump. See, I'm going to imagine that you get here and it's super difficult. A little bit of a safe zone here. And then hop from, <laughs> kind of like how these look like little trampolines. Hop from there to there to there to there to there. Slide down. Now, the tricky thing about this is that these are those shingled roofs. I know that you're just going to slide down without any control here. And you'll have to try to angle it so that you fall through the curtain. You're probably going to end up in the water 99% of the time, but you fall through here. Oh, gosh. You give up. <laughs> he got to the elsewhere column. Walk across the angle, the, the angled spirally boulders up to the top, and while you're there, you go up across the arch, up across the arch, and I think you dance on top of the. No, you continue this way. Oh gosh! It just keeps going and going and going. It's fiendishly tricky, I know. So you get to the top of the arch, you go across here, across here, across the bowl, moo, and. Zip along the top of the boulders, jump here, go to the column. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is crazy long. This is, that is accurate. Um, oh, there's slaughterfish down below here too, if you mess up. Beautiful. I die even not jumping. That's, that's how tricky this is. Okay. Maybe a safe spot here, but here's the thing. The statues were over a safe spot, and that ended up killing me, too. And then across the tricky, slippery, shingled roofs that will be sliding all over on. And you get, to, eventually, to the pile of treasure. And pile of... No, you jump on the pile of treasure. I think parts of pile of treasure don't have collision, and parts do. Hop on the pile of books. Hop over here. Up across here. Oh my gosh. Barrel jump after barrel jump after barrel jump after barrel jump. Start that that house in the middle of the sky is tantalizing. Oh gosh. And then up and up and up and up across the tricky crystals. Up and up and up and up. And then I think you get there and you just dance. You dance on top of that. So, who's up for a challenge? I think... I gotta make an activity of this. This is so crazy, crazy long. And each of the jumps is its own challenge. Did anyone get to the goal on this one yet? Yeah, how, how far, How? who's got the farthest? Who's got the farthest? Creek gem, yeah, streaking, streaking as a sork might be the best way to do this. This was definitely a patience one. I think this might take you a couple hours to figure out. So, or even just retrying. I bet eventually you get kind of good at restarting. <laughs> Maybe not me, though. Collector says, I will reopen it up as a challenge house once I've completed it. Uh, the tent in the middle of the sky will be the end eventually. Okay, so it's not even done. Eventually, she's going to connect all that to there. So, good job, Collector. Crazy. That's <laughs> a little too much for me, I guess. The challenge it just keeps going forever. <laughs> Thank you, Collectra. Thank you, Collectra. Okay. It's built all across elsewhere, basically. Okay, last up, last up will be a great Gemini's Boulder Tree Refuge. How how did you decide? How did you decide? how difficult it was going to be when you started this. <laughs> like, well, I was able to make it once out of a thousand jumps, so that's good enough. People... <laughs> the tricky thing about that is, like, if you have, like, a one in ten chance of making each jump, it's like one in ten, one in a hundred, one in a thousand. It just gets, like, exponentially more difficult the longer it is. 
Blend Circuit there says make an NA character just to spite the stone. Yes, yes, that's what you can do. Hop over a PCNA and just try it. <laughs> Even Collector has only been able to complete it twice. Okay, it was doable. It's doable then. Okay, good to know. Okay, Greek Gemini is up last. Greek Gemini, Greek Gemini might be an easier way of doing this. Now, Greek says that Shao made the last jump a little bit slippery. So, I think it's not going to be bad until the last one. Okay, for me for the last one. The last one. Last one, I think. I think so. Hey, it's not a thing. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Greek is here. We have mushrooms. I like jumping on mushrooms. Okay. Getting ready, getting ready. Last one, last jumping challenge. And hopefully as we've gone through these, you can figure out ways of kind of making your own obstacle courses for, for your guests. Um, if you want to incorporate those, lots of times it's nice to put something like at the end to like have an incentive, have a reward for doing it. So that's, that's a fun way of doing it. And have some hidden hidden secrets. Maybe you don't make it super obvious where it is, but maybe have a couple hints, a couple hints along the way. Maybe a subtle arrow or something like that. Okay, starting soon. We'll give people a minute to get in here. So Greek Gemini's older tree. Boulder Tree will be the last one, and we'll wrap up. Collector says they're definitely stealing ideas. Collector is just going to make the path longer and longer and longer. <laughs> it's like every everything that Jay Hart fell off of is something that Collector needs to incorporate into her challenge. Okay. Starting in three, two, one, and go! Go. And she says it's been fun to watch. Oh, thank you. Okay, floating mushrooms. Okay, this might not be as challenging as some of the other ones, but we'll see. Greek did say that the last one is going to be difficult. This might be... I don't know. I'm liking it so far. <laughs> I... I'm... Oh, no. They're, they're winning. They're not allowed to win. Hey, no fair. Oh, why am I going slow? Ooh, am I gonna fall through a gap in the rocks? I hope I don't fall through a gap in the rocks. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Let's walk, just crawl up here. Crawling, crawling my way. Oh, there, oh, this is cool. With all the mushrooms and shivering cheese at the end. That seems to be the goal. You have some great plans for some jumping challenges. Great, great, great. Thorold says your Hackfields has the capture the blue flag course if anybody wants to try it later. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Carefully. These cave bracket mushrooms are perfect little platforms. I see that uh, Greek added the Sigic orbs, which are a big bright light source, so even if it were nighttime, it would be pretty visible as to where to go. I don't know, I, I feel like my I'm doing this well. <laughs> At least so far. Now the last one. Last one. They said it's slippery. Oh no, can I actually get there? Geronimo! Oh no! I messed up. Hey, that was nice. I don't have to go all the way back. Let's try it again! So now everybody's making their way up. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> you did it, Greek! You didn't mean to, I'm sure, but you did it. How? How did you even manage to that? You knew I would do it. You knew I would. Hey, wait, no, I'm not supposed to be here. I got overconfident. I got overconfident. I got stuck. See, those those rocks are kind of their own little trick there. Can I actually get back up from here? Uh-oh. I think I can. Okay, I can. Mario, 82 Rex, with a follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to our jumping challenge. We're wrapping up here. It's our last one. I had to start over because I fell. In, like, the worst possible way. Oh, great Gemini. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> the tear bits. The rip, rip bits. Thank you. How did I manage to get myself killed here? Good question. I was being impatient. That's what I was doing. See, we kind of like... Some of these have weird collision on them. They kind of 
push you around a bit, so you just want to be careful with that. Oh, no. Okay, continuing, continuing. Last one. Okay, just jumping slowly was working for me before. Kind of go from one to the next. One to the next. I'm going to try to block jump to the last one. It might be too far for it. Oh, you're coming up on the magic carpet. Cheater! <laughs> okay. Last, can I do it? Can I get there? Can I get there by blocking? No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, starting. Going again. Not dying this time. Not dying. Storming. You were right about it. Last jump being tr tricky. I like that it kind of drops you down into the middle so you don't have to start all the way over. Oh! Oh, gosh. Something about starting all the way over. Oh no, I need that cheese. I need that cheese bad. It's the only thing that's going to get me through this. Come here, cheese. Come here, cheese. Oh no. Oh no. I, I get overconfident. See, it's these simple little jumps. And then there's like little tricky bits to it too. And so you get overconfident because these aren't too difficult. And then you mess up. See, that's, that's what they do. Greek knows me too well. Greek knows me all too well. Holy, these are slippery. Tricky, tricky rocks. Tricky rocks. Tricky. Oh, come on. Come on. Is anybody dancing on the cheese? Not that I can tell. Nobody's totally so... Oh, they died. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Awful. What have you done? The things that we do for cheese... I almost fell again. Oh, no, no, I know. I'm a little wobbly. Okay. I'm not going to... Okay. How to, how to do this? How to do this? You just jump for it. Great gym. It says, funny part is I didn't design this to kill people, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's what I would think. Okay, I'm just going to jump. I'm going to try to maybe attack ah. midair. That might slow me down a little bit. So I haven't actually overshot it before. Here we go. One percent health. Something about overshooting it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I could use magic carpet and cheat. No. Dang it, I don't have editor permission. <laughs> I was trying to cheat. Oh no, oh no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zendaira. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Zendaira. Good to see you, good to see you. Thank you so much for the sub support. Oh, we'll do a big bonus giveaway here in the end. Um, let me just get up to the top, kind of buy the cheese, and we'll wrap up from there. I don't... I'll... That's how we'll end. That's... Okay, last chance, last chance. And then you can have some fun with these. So these have been real, really, really uh, good as far as having a good challenge. Skittlebat. Oh my goodness, Skittlebat. Skittlebat coming up in with a big host. Skittlebat. If you have not followed Skittlebat, go follow Skittlebat at Skittlebat TV. It's three T's. Perfect, perfect. Welcome, welcome, word. Concluding our jumping challenge, we had 12 entries for this contest, and they've been really good. We had two on EU, 10 on NA. Some of them were more doable than others. Some of them are nearly impossible. This one seems to be kind of in between, so the, the mushroom part of this is fun. Oh, okay, here we go. Jump in, jump in. Everybody's trying for the cheese. Everybody's trying for it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ryan, last stretch of it. Wait, what is that? Is that new? <laughs> I don't remember this being here. Uh, okay, so we're here. We're here. Okay, we're going to wrap up here. Let's go, bud. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, we've been streaming the last seven hours. That was fun. Banshee says, what's funny, Gentry, is I think that's what Jay Hurt's trying to do. <laughs> Well, do you try jumping on the top part of the cheese? That's what I've been trying to do. A bit keep over. Wait, they, they nearly made it. Like so close. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up here. 
and we'll do some giveaways and then I'm going to try to jump on the cheese one last time. So thank you everybody. So I will go through this and just based off of how it's worked, we'll have our top six winners for most satisfying courses. So was this satisfying? I think this was pretty satisfying. So thank you everybody. We do still have our other upcoming contest, our New Year's resolutions contest. So it's still time to get entries in for that. So this has been fun. So you can have, you can make an obstacle course. A jumping challenge in your home. You can do a lot of things with the housing editor. It can be mean with it, or maybe have some flexible room, a little bit of wiggle room as far as the jumping landing pads. It was fun. It was fun. So you can do. You can not just decorate in your home. You can add, add a little bit of twist on that with this. So, and I'll get some screenshots up on my website, spicyeconomics.com. I'll upload the bottom of this to YouTube. You can subscribe to me there. It's free to subscribe on YouTube, so we can do that. And. Looking forward to more upcoming housing goodness in the coming weeks. So thank you. Have fun. Stay spicy.